Hey, water signs, Cancers, Pisces, Scorpios. Happy birthday to all the Cancers. This is your July 2019 reading, and I am Tara with Divine Reads. So I went on ahead and got the spread started for you. I have two cards down right now. I have a third deck here for clarifiers, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the overall energy for your reading is the full card. So you may be embarking on some sort of new journey. You could be being foolish right now. You are taking some sort of leap of faith, okay? And this is in regards to being the queen of wands. So some sort of passionate um, endeavor. This is you possibly being in control or being controlling. Um, this could be you in a leadership role. Um, this could be you having some sort of of new femininity um a new feminine energy about yourself this could be you taking on um with the black cat here even some sort of darkness dark energy having something or someone um dark around you um i feel like i've never noticed that she has on um a red shoe um so maybe you've kind of stepped in something um energetically that you aren't so sure about um so let's take a look and see what the cards say past energy i got the six of swords and the judgment card um so you made a decision to move forward um with or without someone um moving forward in some sort of situation um moving away from something or someone towards something or someone else, okay? All right, and I feel like this had something to do with, this is my fake lover's card, okay? So this may have been a situation where you may have thought this person was your person and this person may not really be your person. Um, maybe you left one person to be with someone else and maybe feeling like it didn't really go the way you wanted it to go. Um, so you made some changes and it was an empty victory and you don't really feel like you won. The situation didn't make you happy. Um, past energy. So where you are right now, um, I feel like you are listening out for signs um, about um, a commitment that you're in or you are looking out for the person who you know you wanna marry. Um, I feel like maybe if you are already in a relationship and or commitment, um, that you guys are needing to communicate more, listen to one another more. Maybe you should be listening to them or they, you, vice versa, however it resonates, okay? You could be going to school right now, um, so needing to focus and pay attention on your studies. Um, or there could even be some sort of counseling that is needed um, for you about your relationship or counseling that you need to be taking with your partner. Again, Queen of Wands. So I don't know, um, cause this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, if you are dealing with any of those signs, um, cause this is now the second time that it's come out. Okay, this is something that is causing you stress anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, up late, worrying, okay? Um, I don't know if this Queen of Wands is an interference in the relationship, um, if this is someone on the outside of your relationship maybe having some sort of say about your relationship or having um, some sort of influence on your relationship what is crossing you, your current challenge. Um, so I got the Queen of Cups, um, which is you, okay? And I also got the Emperor card, which could be an Aries um, or Taurus. And this could signify you guys together, um, if this is you and your partner. 
this could be you being your own challenge because maybe you're being too controlling maybe you're being too bossy uh, maybe you're too busy because you're an entrepreneur you don't have a lot of time um i feel like maybe you are maybe butting heads with your person um because both of you want to be in control both of you want to be the boss Maybe you guys don't fully trust each other. You're giving them the side eye. Um, I feel like maybe you're all emotional and they're not. Um, wow. Okay. So I got the, what am I looking at here? The nine of cups, right? But it was reversed. Um, so this is, the challenge could be that this is no longer wish fulfillment, right? Um, wanting a new beginning. So maybe you want a new beginning without this person um because it's not what you thought it was going to be um it's it's not making you happy it's it's not enough there's something missing here for you um in your subconscious mind i think that you may want a victory with this person um in in love maybe you're wanting a new beginning in love with this person maybe you're wanting to to recommit reconnect um or this could just be saying that you're ready to end this in order to move forward in looking for, you know, your ace of cups, um, your emotional fulfillment, um, your happiness, right? Um, maybe you want this person to give you their full heart, okay? Um, maybe you're just kind of asking the universe to provide the relationship that, that would make you happy. Right, so there's some sort of conflict or battle here that's going on and I got a Leo card again um, but strength you're having to be strong in this situation um, having to tame some sort of beast um, the conflict could be that you're needing to be strong because you or they are juggling okay juggling situations jobs people um, juggling with you know, do I work this out or do I move forward? Um, how do I prepare? What do I prepare um, for my future? What is my future going to look like with this person if I stay in this relationship? Um, Queen of Cups again, your energy. Um, so I definitely feel like you're probably dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and I feel like you have this emotional offer. You feel like this is you know, or this was um, a good look for you, right? But maybe this person is is financially burdening. Um, maybe you guys have been spending too much money. Um, maybe this person is leaving you out in the cold or maybe you just don't feel that emotional fulfillment anymore. Maybe you're wanting to leave this person out in the cold, okay? So where you are, consciously right so in the forefront of your mind i think that you know um that your new beginning isn't what you thought it was going to be here with the tower card um i feel like you are just disappointed um in this decision in this relationship Maybe trying to prevent this tower moment from happening currently. Yeah, you're you're waiting to see if anything changes. Um, you're not really moving right now. Definitely kind of maybe feeling like a fool. Definitely maybe wanting a new start. Definitely trying to take some sort of a leap of faith. Um, but there's some sort of healing that's needing to take place. Um, and I got the lover's card. All right. So you feel like this person um, could be your soulmate, right? Um, wanting to take control of the situation here with the emperor card at the bottom. Again, um, fire energy, Aries energy, right? Um, but you have this offer here, okay? And you may be waiting for your person to fully accept your offer, um, 
you may be waiting for them to to kind of return to you emotionally like like where did where did he or she go um you know where's my victory okay um and again with this five of swords it's an empty victory it's like we were working together everything was going so well we were on a team we were fighting together we were we were winning the war um but now it doesn't feel like like you've won anything okay um so what i have for near future is the five of swords and the two of wands um what i feel like this is saying again with this five of swords is they're not they don't it doesn't feel like they're in this with you anymore it's like he's looking back trying to figure out what happened to this where is this where is this why am i up here by myself when there were two of us here you know we were in this together and now it doesn't feel like that at all um and this is something that that's burdening your thoughts but the two of wands also signifies having two paths right having two options but it's like i thought we chose our path already i thought we chose the path that we were going to walk together okay it's like we did that so who's single who ends up single um there's some sort of single energy here that is stemming from some sort of ending and or betrayal some sort of backstabbing um somebody spying watching waiting um using their intuition using their intuition to create some sort of a new beginning with the world card here and whoever this is feels like this is justice this is making things balanced this is making things fair this is the right thing to do this may have to do with the court situation um maybe wanting a divorce um to prepare to make some sort of new offer this could be going to the justice system um to to make some sort of offer or an agreement and a financial agreement um that's bound by like a contract right um but somebody is definitely holding on to the idea that we can fix this okay and we can turn the wheel in our favor but it's not going to be enough it's not going to be enough because it's not enough being given to this situation okay so how you see yourself um water sign is page of pentacles and five of cups so there is oh sorry there is a small offer being given over here right somebody's offering something but it's a page right so it's not it's not a knight definitely not a king um and while someone's offering something over here, somebody is over here picking up something that was lost. So I feel like you may be um, hoping to offer this person something that will make them want to, to realize that there's still love here between the two of you, that you still can, can work things out. You or them okay five of cups again though but i i just feel like whoever this is whether it's you or them they are focusing on something else they're turning their back on this situation they don't see it they don't see the value in it they've they've had some sort of loss of love um they're not sure if it's enough love left to move forward um or this could be a different situation um if this if this resonates with you that somebody's just trying to figure out emotionally how they really feel okay somebody is going to be demanding answers here there may be an argument there may be some harsh communication somebody may be um leaving or exiting abruptly but they're putting down burdens because they're trying to have a victory um and this queen of wands comes up again Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, Queen of Wands for me is usually a Leo. Um, but taking control, being being a boss, being in in command, being in demand, um, being passionate about something. 
So this is like some sort of really fiery communication that's going to be taking place, but somebody's not going to let let this situation stop them or hold them back from what they see as a victory, okay? How your person sees you, um, they might see you as a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here with the full card. Don't be offended. It's the Nine of Wands. So I usually feel like this card, she's really confused kind of all over the place. She's defensive. She's not sure what to do, which way to go, who can I trust? Um, but for it to be clarified with the fool card, it's like they don't, they recognize it as something that they don't like. Um, let me pull another card and see if we can clarify that some more. Um, they may see you as someone who who took a leap of faith um or who took some sort of leap but didn't completely jump in um like you were taking the leap and then right at the last second you grabbed you grabbed the cliff right try to keep yourself from actually falling completely in um and they're wondering maybe if this was was some sort of trickery, some sort of manipulation, deceit, witchcraft. Um, would you trick someone into some sort of commitment or did they, do you feel like they tricked you into some sort of commitment here? Um, I have that someone may have taken a leap of faith and may now feel like a fool um and now they don't know who to trust right because of some sort of commitment something that they've learned something that they're learning um <coughs> excuse me high priestess here is someone's intuition is talking to them someone is being guided um by a force greater than themselves to balance themselves and to learn and to grow spiritually i don't know if this is the mother of your child or if you are a mother um with a child or children if you um if you've gotten pregnant by this person and you know now you're not sure if you even want to be in a relationship with this person who you now are expecting a child with or who you now have have a kid with um i feel like there's or there was some sort of emotional fulfillment at one point um that maybe now someone is or has walked away from <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so your person may be may be thinking about walking away from this because it may not have been emotional fulfillment or they're wanting to walk toward what you or they feel is emotional fulfillment excuse me <clears throat> so i've been doing pretty good without coughing but i do have a cold so i don't want you to think that just kind of came out of nowhere but i feel like somebody is is wanting to or needing to communicate how they feel and what they're thinking i feel like someone's already made a decision that hasn't been communicated yet clearly or they're saying it without saying it directly um so maybe you're kind of questioning every little thing that they say trying to figure out what it means um or if there is a deeper meaning behind you know what you have discussed or whatever your communications look like these days um there's some sort of confusion for you or them right now in terms of what you both want and I feel like somebody hasn't fully expressed their their willingness to end this relationship okay hangman so you or they may feel stuck um maybe feeling like they don't want to move can't move feel bound um so this may be because you are married um, this could be because you are in a contract or commitment of some kind. So your hopes and fears. Um, I think 
okay either this is a hope or it is a fear um that wanting to kind of release this conflict whatever this conflict is but you may feel like this is being orchestrated by someone on the outside of this relationship um so you may be worried that there's someone someone causing interference in your connection and this is causing you or your person um to block off their emotions towards you all right in your two of cups that you feel this is your person this is our relationship um and you're wanting to move forward i feel like someone is wanting to move forward do you want to move forward with this person or do you want to move forward towards a new connection um with someone else okay so this possible outcome um i feel like the knight of swords and the eight of pentacles here that um we very well may be ending this situation we may be ending um this situation if you live with this person um maybe maybe somebody is cutting the other off from the finances um trying to protect their financial stability somebody may be hiding money or there may be a conflict um that stems around finances if someone has been in, in any sort of way stashing money hiding money um stealing money sneaking money maybe from one account to another i feel like someone is demanding answers or they're preparing um, to get out of Dodge really quickly, okay? Someone is preparing some sort of a swift exit. Moving into the, the Ace of Wands, some sort of passionate new beginning. Um, and this is either that they are ready to release these burdens, to put all those wands down, Right, because this is still technically the fool, and he's still on the fool's journey, and he's still moving forward. Um, but he's carrying a lot right now. Okay, um, he doesn't want all those wands. He just wants the one wand. Okay, but this could also signify that someone is passionate or feeling passion elsewhere. Okay, and with the Knight of Wands, that only clarifies that even more because the knight of wands is the player energy right this is the player card this is in and out um this is someone wanting to be free someone wanting to soar someone wanting to move forward move ahead towards something or someone that they are passionate about will of fortune um, so this could be a cycle that is closing um, or they are moving into you or they are moving into a new cycle of a balanced emotion, okay, where someone is going to now be single and abundant. But I feel like this is only going to make room for um, this lover's energy to come in. So whether this is you reconnecting with this person a little bit further down the road or if this is things opening up so that you can manifest the person who you are really and truly meant to be with, um, with the strength card. So again, another Leo card. So if you are dealing with the Leo, if you know a Leo, if your person is a Leo, it definitely signifies that you may have, um, Leo in your chart very heavily. Um, or you are, you know, you're being told to have strength through the situation because this may be a very difficult time for you emotionally. You may be going through a lot. You may be um, energetically really drained or you may just be really ready to go, to move forward, right? Do what your intuition is telling you. Go ahead and learn your lessons. Um, and they're just kind of signifying that things are going to be okay for you. All right, so I'm going to ask for three cards for some advice for our water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I was trying to keep these readings a little closer to 20 minutes. It's 
I'm not doing too bad, but I keep forgetting to actually check the time, right? So again, I got be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome, right? So you got the strength card and then you got this card, um, which is only further clarifying, be strong. But again, I got the lion. So, you know, fill your roar, tap into your, to your fire energy, um, tap into your inner strength. Okay. And just know that you are, you are heading to where it is you're supposed to be. I got the guiding children card. You are good at helping counseling and healing children. Use your skills to help children out. So if these are your children, I feel like you are a guiding force in your children's life and they are looking to you for guidance at this time. Um, if you do not have children, um, I feel like this is just saying that people are looking to you right now during this time with what you're going through, um, kind of to see how you respond, how you react. Um, this could also speak to your inner child if you find that you're currently kind of dealing with some things that bring up past childhood traumas or emotions or things that you went through in childhood that you may have forgotten about um, but are now resurfacing. This is a good time for you to kind of deal with those thoughts, those feelings and energies. Um, third card is endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. So I feel like this is a sign to say that it's okay um, for these endings because they make room for new beginnings. They make room for growth. Um, and so if that's what you're wanting in your life, I feel like this is just saying that, yeah, that's okay. Um, that's that's kind of just the way that things work and they don't always work out the way that we thought they would or the way that we want them to. Um, but this is a part of your journey. This is a part of, of your growth. This is your path. Okay. So I hope this resonated. If it didn't, that's okay. Um, if you do know other signs in your birth chart, go ahead and take a look at, at those readings as well. Um, I kind of just try to do something more general just to get some content out for the month of July, since we're already here. Um, and you know, if you guys have any specific sign that you want me to do a reading for, I'd be happy to do that. Just comment it below. Please like the video if you are still here. Um, and if you want a personal reading, I'm available at pagefromherdiary at gmail.com. So just shoot me an email and we can set some up. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out.